All right, I just got out of the T-Mobile store. I guess I can take my mask off now uh, with the new Galaxy S21. First day it was available. So this isn't the Plus or the Ultra. I'll do an unboxing here in a second and show you what's inside, but um, they've got a really good upgrade plan right now, especially if you have an S9. And so uh, ask about that if you've got T-Mobile. But um, excited about the 5G, excited about the cameras, and I'll show you some of that in just a minute here. All right, let's show you what's inside here. There's the phone. That does come with a USB-C cable, does not come with a wall connector there, it appears. Now I spared you the install. It was uneventful, I'm grateful to say. I've got my SIM card in there now. That goes just right there in the bottom. Um, so looking around the phone, the USB-C charging on the bottom, speaker right there. There is not, at least as far as I can tell, an external or an additional port for a micro SD card. So if you get the 128 gigabytes or the 256 gigabytes, that's what you've got. So power button here on the side. If you hold that, that also activates Bixby, which is Samsung's version of um, Siri, if you will. So that's gonna let you do voice command. I've set up a fingerprint here. I I'm used to a physical fingerprint scanner on the side. I don't like this one quite as much just because of convenience of location, but it does do a good job. It's very quick, seems to be effective, and so that's nice. So the other two buttons on the side are volume up, volume down. And then by clicking here, I can bring up all the different volume menus uh, and even get to more specific settings there. So the 5G jumped in right away. If I turn off my, if I turn off my Wi-Fi, you can see it right up there, 5G, um, which is pretty awesome. Let me let's do a quick internet speed test. I live in a small town in southern Utah, about a hundred thousand people, and kind of nestled in the mountains here. But even then, my 5G coverage is quite good. So we're getting almost 100 megabytes per second. And this is inside my house. So 87 megabytes download, 0.15 megabytes upload, not quite as impressive, but other features are pretty standard as far as, um, as far as Samsung goes. If you have not used the Samsung before, I'm coming from a Motorola uh, Samsung has a lot of their own proprietary things, and so Samsung Calendar, for example, Samsung Phone, Samsung uh, Contacts, lots of different Samsung stuff, even a Samsung Galaxy Store. And so you can use those or you can opt for your own apps, of course. Um, the battery I've only had since yesterday to experiment with, but it seems like it does a pretty good job. I know that's a complaint with this phone. So the LED light is here. That is one thing I would say for an $800 phone. I kind of hoped for a little brighter LED light. I know you can't really tell too much just from this video, but it could be a little bit brighter, not super bright there. And then the three different camera lenses here. Uh, it's supposed to do an exceptional job in low light, which we'll experiment with in just a second. Uh, but we can get to the camera there. Oh, okay. And so, again, this is pretty standard to a Galaxy phone, but photo, video, more kind of unique options here. And so, we will get a better view of the camera settings here in just a second. And again, Samsung has their own way you can back these up, or you can still use Google Photo if that's what you're used to. And you'll have to pardon me for not being like at the Eiffel Tower in Paris or something tonight to show you this. It's actually a very unusually foggy morning here, um, but we got night mode pulled up automatically. 
Um, let me show you. So the contestants here are this new Samsung Galaxy and my Sony A6000. So not the very best as far as nighttime capture, but does a pretty decent job. So let's just get a couple pictures here. You can see it telling me, hold your camera still. I'm going to turn directions here and get something even a little bit darker. So there's my swing set. The very Actually, that's not sunrise. That's a street lamp around the corner. I thought it was sunrise at first. And then let's get the trampoline over there. That's kind of a cool shot. Okay, so let's try this one again. We'll do a side-by-side. You have a little bit more light here, so we'll see how these two turn out in front of the house here. Let me turn this real quick. You're going to see my bed head here. It's about 6 in the morning here. Okay, let's pull something up here so we can test the volume. Uh, I've been impressed with it, but let's see what's something that's not going to be copyrighted. Overall, I've got to say this is a sleek, comfortable phone. The 5G is awesome. Um, the camera is great. I've been really impressed with this. I hope that you are as well. If you have any questions, I know this is kind of a brand new thing and I want to get this out as fast as I can, uh, but let me know. I'll show you just real quick and I'll link to my review of this case. I had trouble finding one or finding good reviews for one just because, again, everything is so new, but I've been impressed with this one so far. So you can find a link to this case as well as a link to my video review of this case in the notes at the bottom. Again, hope this was helpful for you. Please leave any questions or comments below and subscribe for more helpful content. Thanks.